Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to take some cuttings. I fixed these in yesterday, and I've emptied one, and I've just got that one to do. This is all the uh, off cuts. So, I'm using this as cutting material. If these don't take, it's not in as well. But if they do, I've got myself some free plants for next year. So I can fill up some more pots, and some more hanging baskets. These are the ones that I've pruned back. The reason I've pruned them back so hard is I want to get them in a the nice shape for next year. I'll start feeding them because they're under these lights, which is it was on for 18 hours. As you can see there, 17 degrees. They'll come out nicely. The uh, reason I'm showing you this is just showing you what I use for my cutting mix. I use 50 50. I use 50 percent organic compost which is beautiful and then 50 percent of this perlite so i'll do four of these and then four composting and make this beautiful mix to show you it's really light and airy and i found it helps and root some better you can see how good it is just just get this here just push it in like that nice and soft it's a really good job so i'll just show you what i've been doing this is what i've been using these are just off cuts these so what i do pull it back like so just take all the bottom leaves off again get your finger and fourth your thumb and your forefinger and just pinch it like that it should snap off nice and cleanly all you do then the last ones and then you get a sharp knife or 16 just below the joint there that's where it'll root from away like so just make sure you don't want loads of leaves on the top just a couple and then down the side like that i found these roots a lot better down the side that way they dry on two sides and wet on two sides so yeah that's basically what it was take cuttings that's my potting mix as you can see, these all have been taken, so there's four in each, so 24 cuttings there. If they don't root, they don't root. I never lose sleep over cuttings. It's not like I'm doing it to make money or anything, I'm just doing it for my own garden, so. They, don't, they normally take, they normally strike pretty well. I don't use any rooting hormone powder, I don't find I, I generally need to. Some people recommend it, but not me. But yeah, look, only a couple of these on each one. Some of them are a bit bent because these have been... Uh, in a half moon hanging basket so they've been over the side not been going straight but yeah like I said hopefully some of these will take and we'll have some more uh, beautiful flowers they're the two I've taken them off see it at the back there I'll just pull it out a little bit actually get a little bit of light all the way around them this is my digital thermometer thermostats th well thermometer yep that tells me uh the moisture levels wet which is great this is for starting all these off all i do then is once i've got everything snuggled tipped away put the sheet down and put another mylo sheet on here as well that's the light i know it's it's coming out at night time now i put another sheet on there and that keeps it all nice and toasty at night time from the heat the rest of the greenhouse the light and the heat not to be that for me so yeah that's it, that's uh, how to take my uh, Pelagonium cuttings, 2021 autumn. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask folks. If you like the videos, please subscribe. And remember, happy sowing, happy growing. Thank you for watching everybody, and please keep safe. Thank you, bye. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, it's a quick whiz round. It's my heater propagator. Been at <coughs> 20 degrees. This is where they've been, in here. This is for my cuttings. There's no artificial light, just the light that comes through the roof. But yeah, these are my pelagoniums that I've taken cuttings from. These were a lot thicker than the last lot. Uh, where I only got, I think I got four out of a tray of 24. But that's because they were really small and weak. But these are a lot bigger and better. So hopefully these have a much better root system on them. So let's just have a little look, shall we? Let's get the these opened. See what's inside them, shall we? Hopefully, something good. 
See at the bottom there, if you just sit, get this without disturbing them too much. If you just see the roots there, just coming through. So it's give a good tap, that's all you need to do. And hopefully, yes, yay! We have some polygonies with some roots on, and some decent roots as well. Look at those for roots. I'm dead pleased with that one. And even the small ones have got an adequate root system. So yeah, this is the one that's been, even that one, see how it calluses there, it just starts sending out some roots, so that one's a good one. These got knocked as I took them out, just put them to one side then. You don't want to leave these out for any amount of time, because you don't want the roots to dry out, you don't want them to die either. Take another one out. See that one's, that one's as rooted, I thought that one hasn't rooted, that one's rooted. They're all rooted in fact, so I'm doing really well with these. What should I do with these now is just pop them on. I've got a selection of nine centimetre pots. You can get these many of good auction sites. These are second hand, these are what nurseries use. The plants come in these, then they pot them on into bigger pots. Then they sell these off. So I think they're four or five pence each. Really good value for money. I've, these questions have been rooted in 50 50, 50% 50 peat based compost, 50% perlite. And they're going into a peat based compost now. So. I shall just get the compost over here. All I need to do with these is, like so, give them a tap down. And these that have got bigger root systems in, you, have to get, you want it at the same level that it was in the other pot. A little bit deeper on damage it, but you don't want it too deep. Not the same level, like so. Yeah, so these were your soft cuts. This, what I've, these cuttings I've taken uh, earlier on, these were just to prune and shape my polygoniums. So I'll just show you which one I got, took these off. Yeah, this is the plant it was taken off. And if you just spin that round, let's have a look, look, look at that. As you can see that's a nice plant that. again. Really nice quality plant. And it was pruned for the winter. I want to get in really good shape for this coming year. So I'll prune a bit more of this off. But I've got this, I've carried on feeding it. It's under LED grow lights. You see, it's even starting to send out some flowers at the moment. I should carry on pruning that back so I get a really good shape. I'll thin it some out in the middle as well. You want to get some air to the middle. Yeah, that's the one I took these cuttings from. Like I said, they weren't cuttings. It, I was just pruning them. So these are all basically three plants. Yeah, just hold it up like so. You don't want to damage the, the roots because they're not that secure at the moment. And then just gently down, hit a little tap like so. Once these are all done, I'll give them a really good water. But these were from Firebrick Nurseries last year, these. They came as rooted cuttings, full plants growing about the size of these they were, probably a little bit bigger. They came in newspaper, I put them up straight away and they took off and just shot off, they were absolutely brilliant. Really good quality, I think they were two or three pound each. But it might have been three ninety nine, something like that, but they were really worth it, really good quality. But yeah, please, I'm going to have plenty for my baskets this year. So I'm really looking forward to having all these polygoniums. It's always nice to get free plants, I absolutely love it. And cuttings can be so easy to, to do once you get the hang of it. You never have to buy plants again. Buy one or two what you want, grow them on, get them really nice and healthy and then just take cuttings from them. Simple as that. But yeah, if you've got any questions about how to take cuttings, with my pelagoniums, please don't hesitate to ask. If you like the videos, please subscribe. And as always, happy sowing, happy growing. Thank you for watching, everybody, and please keep safe. Thank you. Bye. Just give me more water.